Hey guys, this is Get Tomorrow, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of C. No, no, no. Ages. Sorry. Yeah, anyways, in the last episode, uh, we got our maple harpies, kind of a pain in the ass, kind of made us bleed out our eyes a bit, and then I kind of slacked for a couple days with episodes, because, well, the other day I worked, and the other day I did things, and then when I finished it all, I was too tired. But I said, today, I'm going to record it. I'm going to do a recording session. I'm going to record, like, four or five episodes. Yes, it may be before episodes left, if I recorded out uh, just only Varan. But I'm going to do Hero's Cave. I want that piece of crap ring. I already got a good one. And maybe one in a method trial cave, as I call it. But, um, well, I'll show you why. If you go down here, there's a Gasha seed. And, well, after we get the heart piece I'm looking for, I'll show you where how to get that secret little Gasha seed spot. This one's more secret than the rest, so I thought I'd go with this one. Because my stupidity failed me, and, of course, there is no one Gasha tree that gives you one all the time. I thought there was, but that's not true. So what do we get? We get 200 rupees. Not bad, but let's try again. Uh, yeah. So let me find my mouse. Let's dual monitors. Yeah, I'm right on the edge. I shouldn't have done that, but um, be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Yep. And we get... Potion. Still pretty good. Yeah, the better rewards you get usually means by the rarer the tree and the more monsters you killed. I have no idea how many monsters I killed, but you know, whatever. So yeah, and we got now we got rain. K okay, bad meh. Some of this I probably won't even cut out just because uh, if I'm talking during it. But if I'm not talking, I won't cut it out because I like talking about my day. Like today, I don't know. I bought some groceries, played some games, hung out, relaxed. And my eyes hurt, so I laid down. I had to wake my cousin up, then I hung out with my nephew. It's pretty cool. Yep. Wasn't the most fantastic days, but like, I've never really had weekends off before. This is the first time I've had Saturday and Sunday off, and wow! Piece of heart! Nice! Only two minutes to, to get it. That is high fives all around. Yeah! And now we get. Uh, I think that's. Fifteen heart containers. Yay! We can't get the sixteenth because we don't have the password, so boo. As you see, um, right here, it'll look like the rest, but you take your shovel and if you dig here, you'll get your heart piece. So if you just dig right there, it'll come up. Yeah, I'm sorry for not showing that, but, uh, I accidentally saved the game, and I'm not doing eight dungeons worth of work just to get back to that, because I'm pretty sure you don't want me to delay the episodes any longer, because... Slacking and it's time to get shit done. So let's go to the present. Uh, yeah, 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 I can do it here. I was like, wait, wait, am I gonna back myself into somewhere I don't want to go? But now we're good, we're good, don't worry about it. So get out our Gale Seeds and let's go to town, because we're gonna do the Hero's Cave. Okay, I thought I missed for a second, but I did not. So, South Lena, good. Stock up on those, I don't know, so let's go. And I'm pretty sure I showed where Hero's Cave is right at the beginning of the game. It's right beside the Mocker Tree. Right here. Hero's Cave. And of course, to get to the first room, you need to have, well, Amber Seeds from the first dungeon, and no way to have them using the Seed Sasha right now, kind of figure out where the hell did I put them. So then we go through, and we're in this room. This room is. Not difficult at all. A little bit annoying, but not difficult at all. You want to walk around? Kill that guy, push this to the side. Oh, sorry, not push that to the side. Uh, okay, sorry, I took a wrong turn already. See? Yeah, Hero's Cave is actually pretty difficult. The earlier ones, not so much, buddy. Gets pretty bad, so you push that up. You go around. Push this one up. Walk around. And push it onto that little switch. So then we're good. We got two, uh, one of the two switches uh, flicked or pressed on. And the one over here, you're supposed to use this pot for, but screw that, I got the freaking cane to get Sumar. My overpowerness from Pro Skittles will get us this key. Yeah! So we got a small key, high fives all around, and let's keep going. This room eh, is moder moderately annoying. It's not that bad though. 
First thing you want to do is get your Pegasus seeds, Rock's feather, and jump over the thing. And next, you want to get your so push this over, go down. I believe break these pots, kill the keys, kill the keys, push that down, walk around, push that over, and we're clear to go down here. And oh boy, can you guess what this is? Bomb timing. And I don't think I'm gonna get it on the first try like the last time. So let's try it. Nope. Nope. Aww. If I could, like, hit that keys or something, it'd probably work out. Ugh. I'm gonna go through a lot of bombs doing this. Nope. Okay, that was bad. Nope. Stupid bombs learn to blow up at the right time. Why can't you be a remote bomb? That was so handy in Minish Cap, I loved it. There we go. Okay. Didn't take us that long to get it done. High five, guys. High five. So we push this down, push this down, and we're free to keep going. Yeah. We got a small key. Oh boy. Hooray. And this room. This room is a little tricky. Because it's very, um, anal about where you gotta shoot your seed shooter at. And I'm just warning you, for the first four or five rooms, I'll be professional, then it'll just go to crap. I'll be messing up, having to reset the room, complaining, bitching, like, raging, you know, anything you'd expect out of something that's actually difficult. So you want to have your uh, pigs and seeds, <clears throat> and your seed satchel. So you fire it at an angle, and you go, run. And you make it across. Yeah. Figuring that out, I went through probably 70 seeds. And you know what? Screw going backwards, just falling down the hole. I'm smarter than that. I'm gonna risk half a heart just to go forward. Actually, a quarter of a heart, because we got the half damage, and... Kill the like-likes. Kill the like-likes. You do not want them eating your shield here. Because I did that, and almost died in this room, because they didn't have a shield on the freaking armhouses, or shieldions, or whatever the hell they are. Wait, shieldions a Pokemon. I don't know. So whatever. Yeah. I'm allowed to say whatever when I don't know what I'm doing. And you want to equip your seed shooter and this is something I didn't know until this very room. You can equip your seed shooter and your seed satchel at the same time, but you can't fire the same seed. I thought you couldn't do that. So what you do is you go seed shooter and no, 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 not not like that. And then you hit ember seed on this one. Because you can't hit all four at once by reflecting it around the thing, so you gotta hit this last one with the seed. And we get a crappy Gasha seed, like we need those anymore. Well, if you're rupee farming, you can kind of just reset till you get 200 rupees, save it, and then try again, you know. But yeah, that's not really needed. Uh, let's think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do this room. Okay, good. I'm just thinking. It's either th this room. I was thinking it's this room or the next that I'm gonna go to crap on. But I'm gonna kill the Stalfos, that's for sure. Cause there's enough problems in life. That's why they give you Visa, but Visa doesn't protect you against Stalfos. Speaking of which, I've gotten my Visa, I think it was last week. Or, yeah. And I love having it now, I can do whatever I want. But Wind Waker came in, played it, had a lot of fun, still playing it, but yeah. That's not new, and. Oh, yeah. Get your Rock's Feather out, jump over here. Okay. You want to match these, um, oh, what's it called, statues, to the right positions. But you're going to notice there's three blue, so there's not enough to go around. Well, we've thought of what we got to do. At least I did. Yeah. It's this pro is my little secret gosh seed spot, because outside of looking through a guide, not a lot of people know about that, because... I was actually farming rupees there, like, when I first played this game, just digging around, and I found that, I'm like, oh my god! It's a secret cautious spot, this one must grow something good. So I got 200 rupees, did it again, 200 rupees, did it again, got a potion, did it again, got a heart piece. I was like, yeah, cool, that's pretty sweet. And if you move this over to where the water is, we get... Small key. Hooray! And now we get to go into god knows what. Um... Okay, I think I know this room. Remember, think and do are two different things. Uh. Um. Okay, let's see. Well, first of all, I'm gonna kill the little Zoles or whatever the hell they are. Choose that evolve into Zoles. 
I don't know. Yeah, but uh. Okay, actually, um. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to do a very, 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 very cheap ass method of getting through this. I don't recommend doing this, but you know what you do? If you can't get some more, go close enough and go right across. Isn't that cheap? Isn't that taking advantage of the can of get Sumara? Well, you know what? I'm pro Skittles because it's named after me, so I'm allowed to do that. Ha! I love it. But you know what? We're getting out of time, so next time on Let's Play Oracle of Ages, we'll go farther through the Hero's Cave because I don't even think we're halfway done. Uh, we're like a quarter, a third. So I'll see you then.